Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to access or mount your NAS drive using this QNAP NAS device.、Um, so, how do you mount it under Linux? I'm using Fedora version 32.、Uh, this process should be similar for other distros. So, first, you need to access your NAS device.、Um, the software is called a QNAP Q Finder. So, it shows the NAS device. You click on it. It will launch. You need to log in.、Uh, I'm not going to let you see my password.、Uh, once you log in, you will see your computer, the server, the NAS server. Go to Control Panel and this Shared Folders and click on the folder you want to share. There's this guy, Edit Shared Folder Permission.、Uh, choose this guy, NFS Host Access. You check this access right, permission read and write. And apply the change. Next, you go to Network and File Services, Win Mac NFS.、Uh, go to this NFS service. Check these guys. Enable NFS version 2, 3, and 4. And apply the changes. Now you're done with your NAS server. You can just log out.、Uh, next, you need to do something on your client. If you haven't done so, you need to assign a fixed IP address to your NAS drive. Of course, at home, your internet service provider will assign your dynamic、um, IP address, but within your home network, you should be able to accommodate a couple hundred devices. Like my home network, I have over 100, 250、uh, IP addresses in my home network from 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 255.、Um, one, I think one is taken, yeah. So, with so 254, I think. Yeah, with so many IP addresses, usually the home network, you can you only have a handful of devices cell phone, computers, router, and stuff. So you do not need that many. So you can actually log into your、uh, router's console and assign fixed IP addresses to your、uh, devices, like this NAS server, based on its MAC number, the, the MAC number of a network adapter. So I have another video to show you how to assign fixed IP address to your. Devices on your home network.、Um, you may refer to that video. So, here I have assigned the IP address 129.168.1.249 as my、uh, IP address to this NAS computer.、Uh, so, I have a fixed IP address. If you want to mount this、uh, NAS drive、uh, on your client computer, this Linux computer, You just need to type in the terminal one line of code sudo mount IP address, whatever the folder name, which is the same guy we saw just now、uh, on the console, right? It's called my name, yeah. And then you can write some mount point. It could be slash etc, or, or not etc, slash media, slash blah, 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 here, whatever folder you want to use,、um, mount point you want to use. Next,、uh, you will be able to see that under your. File Explorer, it has been mounted. The only problem is that、uh, you mount this guy, next time you reboot your computer, the mounted drive will disappear. So, this is just for temporarily mount something. You will want to mount it permanently. Whenever you boot your computer, that NAS drive is automatically mounted. You should already see this NAS drive here, other locations here, uh, this uh, NAS device. It takes a little bit of time. But if you want to mount a specific folder, you need to create some、uh, code. So, here under at least Fedora, you need to run these three lines of code to allow other users to mount and unmount without being the admin user. The reason is that sometimes when you boot up your computer, the internet is not ready and you log into the computer, you're already a, a different user. You're not the pseudo user, super user. What happens is that you won't be able to mount. After your internet connection has been restored.、Uh, most of the time, you should be fine because during the boot process, the, the network adapter should already have internet access and you will be able to mount your NAS drive. Just sometimes, if that process is slow, you log into a computer, the internet connection hasn't been established, you will want to use these three lines of code sudo change mod u plus s. So you allow other users to mount and unmount temporarily. Yeah. So, next, you need to edit your fstep file. It's under the root directory, etc. configuration folder, fs 
tab. You can use your favorite editor. You have to use, I use Vim, the sudo Vim, and this file name, FS tab. You add one line of code to this uh, uh, file, end of the file, on the new line. So double slash your IP address for your NAS. Here I mentioned I use this guy for my NAS IP address and whatever folder name, so slash array. You can see here when you use sudo mount, it's a colon, but in your fs tab file, it's slash, not a colon. Then whatever uh, the mount point you want to use, I created a uh, director under the media uh, directory because anything under this media directory will be automatically shown on your graphic user interface. So this is very convenient. So you can see here, this is the guy it's shown here. It's, so under the medium media directory. And then CIFS and whatever user name and a password you are going to use to log onto your NAS drive. Um, you're just admin with whatever password. By the way, all these comma has no white space. Um, so comma, comma, no white space. And the file mode is 0777, directory mode is 0777. This is for you to be able to read and write from that uh, uh, mounted directory. Otherwise, you can view the file. You cannot delete, add, or remove files. So you want to add these two guys. And then space zero, space zero. And that's this line of code. After that, you can just, without restarting your computer, you can actually write another line of code. Uh, called uh, sudo mount hyphen a so just mount everything once you execute that code you will be able to see your guy here the mounted drive here and you can create a symbolic link uh, like I created a symbolic link under my pictures folder uh, this way you have successfully mounted a folder uh, NAS drive on the NAS drive so to recap your first make some changes, uh, log on to your NAS computer, make some changes to the folder to allow uh, NTFS access. Next, you assign, uh, if you can do the first step, you assign a fixed IP address to your NAS computer. Then, depending on your operating system, distro, uh, for Fedora at least, you need to change a mod to allow ordinary users to be able to mount an amount. Uh, if you don't do this, sometimes when you boot your computer, the internet is not up yet, you will get an error message. Once you log into your ordinary user, you won't be able to do it. To mount your drive, you get an error message because the user does not have the privilege to run this mount and unmount. So right, execute these three lines of code. Then edit your fs tab file under this etc directory. Um, so your host name, double slash, your host name and folder name your mount point, preferably some folder under media, because any folder under media will be automatically shown in your graphics user interface, which is nice. Like other locations, you see it right away. And then you can just uh, username, password, allow read and write, and you can just uh, use this uh, uh, zero zero space zero space zero, and then you execute a pseudo mount hyphen a without reboot your computer okay that's the video for today thank you